everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be reviewing and doing a demo try on of a few products from vive if you didn't know vive is a fairly new well very new makeup brand from jamie genevieve who is on youtube i will link her channel in the description if you want to go and see like what her channel's about and she will also be like obviously using these products in her own videos because like they're her products I don't usually purchase YouTubers makeup or YouTubers merch or anything like that because I, I just, I don't know, only if I really like think the products are going to be good. Well, I love these products and I just knew they'd be high quality. They're not like cheap products at all. I would say they're like, you know, fairly pricey considering like a YouTuber has brought out them. But Jamie Genevieve is well trusted in like the beauty industry anyway and I just knew the products would be great so this is going to be like a review of her products and me kind of showing them I did get given them for Christmas from my parents I asked for these specific products and I was so excited to receive them on Christmas day so I'll link her channel in the description and I'll also link her website as well if you want to go and check them out when you receive the order and um, it comes in like a brown box and everything comes in here my little order sheet is on there and it's obviously all packaged up really really nicely and in its like little cases and things i did first of all ask for a jumper now yes she is a makeup brand or she is not a makeup brand she has a makeup brand and it is makeup focused but she did have jumpers that she wore herself that she didn't actually sell but obviously everybody was like obsessed with them and like wanted to buy it so she decided to do like limited edition so i did actually pick up one of those and this is that jumper here and i love it like i really love it like this is one of my favorite christmas presents and my new favorite jumper i really love it if you know me and you know my channel you know i love jumpers this stems back for like six years ago if you've been subscribed for like five years or more well done um i know some people are because you can see when someone comments you can see how long they've been subscribed for and some people have been subscribed for five plus years which i think is crazy um but anyway yeah so i got this i really like it it's in a size medium wanted it to be oversized and it certainly is so yeah i really love this and i believe this was about well i'll leave the price of everything on screen when i mention it because i can't actually remember the exact price but yeah I really love this but I think they're probably all sold out now anyway because it was limited edition and she did have this in the black colour as well. Quality of this jumper is great. You can see like the stitching as well is like really great quality off the actual letters. It says Joy de Vive on it instead of Joy de V, which is French. Um, obviously it says Vive because that's her makeup brand but yeah now let's get into the actual makeup products. So first of all, I picked out this blusher. Now this is her most popular blusher. So this is like the most kind of popularly sold item or whatever, I don't know what I'm on about. But basically this is one of her blushes in the shade Pesca. So it's the Sunset Blush, that's like the range. And this is in the shade Pesca, which is kind of like a peachy, um, peachy pink kind of blush. Again, if you follow me for a while, you'll know that I tend to go for peachy coloured blushes more so than any other kind of shade. I just think it looks more natural, blends in easier to the skin and also the bronzer. And it just, to me, like is more blended and I like that kind of look. So I went for this one. If I give it a tiny little swatch, it's like a peachy kind of shade. It's hard to swatch um, like blushes, but here we go. I'm sure you can see what the shade is anyway. And I'll insert an overlay over the clip. I'll, I'll insert an overlay over the video um but the quality of the packaging is really nice as well which i like um the kind of material it's like feels like leathery so yeah that's nice i love the product it blends really nicely it's not too pigmented so it means that you can kind of like build it up it's not like too strong i hate 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 especially blushes and bronzers where they're too pigmented because it means that you end up looking a bit ridiculous it's nice to be able to kind of build the product up then i got this which is the most expensive item out of everything that i purchased or that i asked for for christmas i should say this again is in that same kind of leathery material it says vive down here and let's give it an open this palette just get rid of that for a second um this palette is the essentials palette so this is the first eyeshadow palette that she actually um brought out i know she has got out a second eyeshadow palette which i'll probably get in the future but i want to get like my use out of this one first 
but here are the shades first of all it's got a great mirror at the top which is why i still keep this sheet in there to kind of protect that mirror from the shadows because it's a great mirror for doing your makeup you can kind of see around a little bit hello um but yeah these are the shades very big like like the pan sides of the eyeshadows are quite large which i really like um but yeah you get a lot of product here the eyeshadow quality is really nice as well um, the pigmentation is great there is a little bit of fallout so when you put your brush into the products there will be a little bit of dust that comes off of these eyeshadows so just be careful of that like down your face and everything make sure you've powdered but yeah there's some great shades here i'll go through them sort of briefly we have so shy which is just like a plain white shade i don't think i need to swatch them actually because swatches are pointless you can see them in the pan we have carrot which is like a goldy shimmer buff which is what i use as a transition shade like a caramelly color is that thea thea don't know um but that's a bit more of a darky kind of gold shimmer then we have lava rock which is more of a neutral kind of cool toned shade which i haven't actually used yet so i need to then down here we have glimmer which is like a nice pale shimmery shade i use that as inner corner highlight see I don't know what that says but anyway <laughs> this is like a yellowy colour which I actually really like that's really nice like by itself then cozy which is a nice warm toned kind of pinky shade delicious which is like a chocolatey brown and then good night which is a black shade so there's some great shades in here I did do an eyeshadow look today which you can see on my eyes basically I started off with the shade so shy and I just kind of popped that over my eyelids um just like as a plain base shade then I went in with the shade buff and I just used that as like my crease shade so just to kind of like have like a little bit of a transition shade there so I used that and it's nicely pigmented I used it with like a small more angled brush to get a little bit more definition then i went in with the shade carrot which is like the more paler kind of shimmery gold shade and that went straight over the entirety of my eyelid and i really like how nice and shimmery that is and again the pigmentation is really good then in the outer corner i went in with the warm toned kind of shade which is called cozy and again i put that on the outer corner just to add like a little bit more color to the look and then i use the shade delicious in the outer corner i feel like i'm just like listing off like loads of shades and i like intensified the look a little bit more with that and then just to kind of make it a little bit more prominent and a little bit more shadow i use the shade good night which is that really black shade and i used a touch of that in the outer corner of my eye i then took the shades cozy and delicious and i put those underneath my eye just to kind of add a little bit of definition to my eye i do like to do that with eyeshadows so that was um the overall look i did use the shade glimmer in my inner corner like of my eye as well afterwards and that was my finished eyeshadow look you can mix and match the colors to make an eyeshadow look like i've done you can make it really smoky and dark you can be subtle um you can do anything with this palette so yeah i really love this palette i personally think it's well worth the money in terms of like how many eyeshadows you get and like how much product you get i mean basically the quality of the eyeshadows the quality of the palette as well it doesn't feel um, flimsy it feels really nice quality and yeah i really like this and the fact that it comes with a great mirror like a really nice big mirror is good because that means that when you travel with it you don't need to take a mirror as well because you've already got one so this is a winner i really love this and in the future i am certainly going to be trying her other eyeshadow palette now we have the lipstick i got this one which is in the shade 90s and it's the modern matte lipstick now again this feels great quality it feels better than any of my other kind of products that i've got in terms of lip products it just feels a lot heavier a lot better quality and when you open it up on the actual lipstick it says vive on it i chose this shade because this is the kind of shade that i like like more nudie brown kind of shades i really like that sort of thing it is like a like a um, nudie brown shade as i've just said um it's on my lips right now and i will do an overlay clip of me showing me using this i really like the pigmentation of this is amazing it lasts really well which is great so it lasts throughout the day quite well it doesn't rub off really really easily um it is quite comfortable on the lips so you can't really feel it too much which is great and yeah really love this very um very worth the money and i can see this is going to last 
a long while and I have been using this very regularly. I love the shade of this and I would recommend this if you like the kind of makeup that I like and the kind of colour sort of combos that I like with my lips and my eyes then you will like this as well. So that is a great product. So that is pretty much everything that I got from V for Christmas. Overall obsessed with this jumper, really really love it. I literally want to wear it every single day but can't really do that. Uh, the blusher, really love that as well. I would recommend that shade if you like peachy blushes. Eyeshadow palette again is a great product. All of these products are such high quality that I just cannot stress enough how much I really like them. There isn't really any negatives that I can find with any of these products as of yet. And the lipstick, I'm glad that I went for that shade and I love the quality of it again. So overall, a very positive review. Literally cannot think of a negative thing to say. By the way, just thought to mention that all of the products do come in like an outer case. So the eyeshadow palette does come in this. Um, so that's how it comes. But obviously you don't need to keep that. It's just like an outer case when you get it. Um, and the blusher comes in that one and then the lipstick comes in that one. So like the little boxes um but yeah very happy with everything that i got from vive i would highly recommend again jamie genevieve's channel is linked in the description along with her website as well if you want to go and check anything out i'm pretty sure this jumper is limited edition so you probably won't be able to get that or it will be like a limited stock but the makeup items are all still on there she does also sell loads of other makeup stuff as well if you want to go and scroll through her website and have a look because i would 10 out of 10 recommend in terms of like how i've got along with these products i have tried a lot of makeup in my time and this is really good products like really good stuff compared to a lot of other things out there so yeah, like I said, everything's linked below that you might want to see. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review video. I don't really do that much kind of makeup videos anymore, but I'm going to try and do a little bit more and just a little bit more varied content this year. Um, but thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos. My next video should be on Friday and it should be podcast episode five with my mum. So stick around for that if you haven't already. And if you haven't seen my 2022 resolutions video, I posted that on Monday so go and give that a watch because um, if you want to hear about my resolutions for the year um, but apart from that have a good day and I'll see you then bye bye